Hello scholars, my name is Pam Franklin and I'm one of the assistant superintendents for elementary schools with JPS. I'm so excited to be here today to share some reading time with you and the book that I've selected uh, for us today is called The Perfect Nest and this book is written by Catherine Friend and it's illustrated by John Manders. And just as a um, reminder, when we say illustrated, what does that mean? That's right, the illustrator is the one that draws the pictures for our story. Again, the name of the story is The Perfect Nest. There's no words on this page other than this sign here that says nest, but this is a picture of a barn. Again, our title page, The Perfect Nest. Jack the cat gathered together everything he needed, then built the perfect nest, dry and cozy and just the right size. But the nest was not for Jack. With this perfect nest, he would attract a perfect chicken who would lay a perfect egg, which would make a perfect omelet for a cat like Jack. Soon enough, a chicken came along. Caramba, she cried, a perfect nest. She hopped up and laid a small egg right there. Then a duck waddled by. Sacre bleu, she cried, the perfect nest. The duck pushed the chicken out, hopped up and laid a medium sized egg. Then a goose lumbered by. Great balls of fire, she cried, a perfect nest. The goose pushed the duck out, hopped up, and laid a large egg. So now we've got a small egg, a medium egg, and a large egg. Jack's mouth began to water. Three eggs would make three omelets. But then the duck leaped onto the goose's back. This is my nest. The chicken flew up onto the duck. No, this is my nest. The three cackled and quacked and honked, but each refused to leave the perfect nest. They squished each other for days. Each day, Jack tried to get the birds off the eggs. Fire, fire, he cried. They didn't move. Flood, flood, he cried. They didn't move. Wolf, wolf, he cried but the chicken, the duck, and the goose would not move. Any ideas about why they don't wanna move? Finally, Jack stood before them. You birds are so silly. The next farm over has an even better nest and it's empty. Why doesn't one of you use that nest? An empty nest, cried the chicken. Without a goose to sit on my head, I caramba. Sacre bleu, cried the duck. I am tired of smelling like the chicken. That nest is mine. Great balls of fire, cried the goose. Out of my way. And they all flapped away. Alone at last, Jack returned to the nest and peeked inside. He arranged the eggs neatly in a row. Small breakfast, medium lunch, and large dinner. Jack's stomach rumbled. But then, anybody out there have an idea about what's gonna happen next? And if you can see, if you look real closely at this egg, there's a clue that's gonna tell us what might be getting ready to happen. Right there. I think I heard some of your voices. Crack, the small egg broke open and out popped a wet baby chick who looked up at Jack and said, Caramba, hola mama. Crackety snap, the medium sized egg broke open and out scrambled a wet baby duck who looked up at Jack and said, sacre bleu, bonjour maman. Crackety crackety boom, the largest egg broke open and out stepped a wet baby goose who looked up at Jack and said, great balls of fire, howdy ma. 
Jack stared at the babies. What was he to do? He couldn't make omelets out of them. Try me, try me, try me, cried the soggy baby chick. Feed me, feed me, feed me, cried the hungry baby duck. Play, 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 cried the excited baby goose. Jack hid in the barn. The three babies found him. He hid in the woods. The three babies found him. Jack hid under the tractor. And guess what? They found him. The three babies found him and dragged him back to the nest. Sleep, 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 the tired babies finally whispered. Cold, 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 said the shivering babies. Jack scratched his head. Someone had to take care for these babies, but there was no one else around. Jack lifted all three babies into the nest. Buenas noches, mama, said the baby chick. Buen wheat, maman, said the baby duck. Sweet dreams, ma, said the baby goose. Then Jack climbed into the nest and the babies fell asleep. That's when he realized that this really was the perfect nest. And they all went to sleep. So that is the story, The Perfect Nest by Katherine Friend. Thank you for joining me today in this reading time and I wanna encourage you to read and to listen to others read as much as you can while you're at home.